Hello, I wanted to do a first impression on this Julep Freedom Polymer top coat for you. And I've had this on for several days and I'll tell you how it wore on my nails and all that stuff. But the reason I'm calling this a first impression and not a review is I feel like this really, you know, deserves to be used more than once for me to give you a thorough review. I maybe need to try it with several different nail polishes, stuff like that, so that I can, you know, tell you more in depth how it wore since I've only used it once you know I feel like sometimes it's a fluke like you just chip your nail not because of this but just because of what you're doing and it doesn't matter what top coat you had on you know so what I thought of you know my very first time using this is it is very shiny it's nice it goes on easily it dries quickly you know so very good very good first impression I did my nails on a Thursday and it is now Saturday, so it's been most of the day Thursday. My nail polish didn't chip. Um, well, yesterday was Friday. My nail polish didn't chip pretty much the entire day of Friday. It kind of wore away a tiny bit on the edge of one of my nails. I'll show you these up close. Um, and then today, Saturday, is when I really noticed um, the chipping. Here's what happened. Let me show you. So... This right here is the worst hand. As you can see, this nail is not doing too well. This one. And then my other hand is actually holding up quite good. If I go like this, maybe you can see this edge right here is, you know, not too great. But other than that, this hand's doing pretty well. So I feel like this is doing a decent job, but at the same time, I'm the kind of person whose nail polish chips all the time, <laughs> like really easily, really quickly. I never can go more than like a day without it chipping at least a tiny bit. My nails are very, they're kind of soft, so like I ding them on things and the actual nail bends, you know, and I feel like that bends the nail polish and it kind of like cracks and peels away at the edges here. I'm going to have to try this when I cut my nails and they're really short so that doesn't happen, you know, I don't touch things with my nail and they don't bend because they're just too short because then maybe the tips of the nail polish won't peel off you know I feel like um, I really need to test it that way but I'm really rough with my hands I do dishes I do laundry I change diapers I'm constantly cleaning up after you know a newborn baby and a toddler um, you know all that kind of stuff I feel like really and I've, I've done all of those things since I've had this nail polish on I've done a lot of stuff with my nails and so, you know, so naturally they peeled. This happened yesterday um, after my shower so I think the shower did that. The water and the heat kind of made it and it didn't necessarily chip off like the way you see it here. It was actually like standing up like the nail polish peeled off at the end and it was standing up so I had to like remove that little piece because it was just going to get caught on something and pull off you know way more so that's what I did there but other than that you know it's it's been okay this hand's good and it wore really well all day Thursday and pretty much most of Friday which is more than I can ask for from nail polish to be honest with you so it probably increased the wear time of my nail polish by about a day which is double since usually I can wear nail polish for a day without chipping, but I wore it for two days without chipping. So it doubled my wear time, which is good, good enough. The only other top coat that I've ever used is the Zoya Cutica, and that one was okay, but it dried a little bit slower, and I like the brush of this one better. So this is, you know, my first impression is that it's good, it's decent. I'll have to try it, you know, a few more times, but so far I like it. Is it worth it for you if it increases the wear of your polish by a one extra day? I don't know. You have to decide that for yourself. And if you're the kind of person whose nails don't chip, you know, right away anyways, then maybe this will increase it, you know, for even longer. So I think it depends on how fast your polish tends to chip just as it is and how what you do with your hands with your nails and all that stuff but so far I like it and um, I'll probably do like update or I'll mention this in a favorites once I try it a few more times with a few different you know nail polishes if I do really end up loving this I'll mention it in a favorites video so I'll just do that but I did want to do a first impression for you guys since you know a few of you were wondering how I liked this after I mentioned it in my Sephora haul so thank you so much for watching bye